Hi everybody, Tom Chapman here and welcome back to my Map Tool tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking about Fog of War. Now what Fog of War does is it hides anything that has not been discovered on your map yet. So when you're playing it allows you to reveal the map one room at a time and when all PC tokens leave a room it then shades back over the room so players can see the room but they can't see any tokens that might be moving through. So if you have tokens hiding in a room that aren't on the hidden layer or are visible to players, you haven't made them invisible yet, it will cover them up and anything that's happening in there. So let's begin. You'll see here I have two screens, uh, two map tool screens. The one on the left is my GM screen. The one on the right is my player screen. So you see what's happening. Now, if you remember back in video 8, we set up vision blocking. So if I come up here to this little eyeball on my GM screen and I click it and I scroll in, you can see that I still have my blue lines showing where all of my rooms are. So Fog of War pretty much needs you to have vision blocking turned on. Now, turning on Fog of War is pretty easy. You just come up here to the map menu and then you just click on Fog of War. Now you'll see my GM screen got darker. I can still see what's going on, but that lets me know that my fog of war is turned on. And then if I come over here on my right to my player screen, it's completely black because I have revealed nothing for them yet. And then control W or the same thing turns it back off. So fog of war off, control W, fog of war on. And that's it. You'll need to do that for every map. So even though I have the Fog of War on in this map, when I go to the lower level, I haven't turned it on yet. So I would have to hit Control w here as well. Let me go back to the upper level. Now there's two methods for revealing Fog of War. One of them takes a lot of time and the other one's very quick. I wanted to show you both of them so you, could, so you can see that you can manipulate Fog of War on your own. There is a Fog of War tool here. And just like drawing and other things, we have many options on what to do with our Fog of War. We can uh, reveal a circle, we can reveal all sorts of weird things. For right now, I'm just gonna use the Expose Hide with a rectangle. So with the Fog of War on, I can click, release, and drag, and I can reveal that way. You see that I revealed this section here and over on the player map, it revealed that much. The opposite can work too. I can hit shift and then click and drag and that hides it again. You see I hit it here, the player's completely lost vision of it. That can take some time to do and especially like if we get down here to room number 11, it's not going to look pretty. So instead of doing that, I use tokens to reveal. So I'm going to come back up here to my interaction tool. And if I zoom in on room one, right here, I have a token that I've placed in that's a hero. The thing to know is that only PC tokens can reveal Fog of War. Now, how do we do that? Well, the way that we do that is we can either right click and go to edit, or we can double click on it, and it opens up the edit token options. Right here at the top, this token is set to MPC. I want that to be PC. And that's it. Click OK. This is now a PC token. What's cool about this is that as long as a token is set as PC, it can be in the token, hidden, or object layer, and it will reveal. What I like to do for non-tactical games like Numenera and other Cypher system games where I'd like a map, but I don't really want to use tactical things, I just make this not visible to players and then I can use this to go into rooms and reveal them as I go and the players will never see the token they'll just see the map get revealed on their end. Now in order for this to reveal what will happen is I've unselected reveal on movement so even though this token is moving around make that visible again even though it's moving around it is not revealing anything. What I can do is a keyboard shortcut where I go control I and now you can see that I've revealed the map with this token. What's cool? You see our hero right here but you don't see any of the skeletons in the room yet because I haven't revealed them. 
The other neat thing about Fog of War is on my screen, I can click the PC token and I can drag the PC out of the room and into the Fog of War. However, on the PC end, I'm trying to get into the Fog of War. You can even see my cursor everywhere else. On the PC player side, Fog of War is treated as a wall. You cannot go through it. So a player can't go, eh, I wonder what's on the other side of this wall where there's no door. Or I'd like to go through here and start seeing what's going on. They can only reveal, or they can only go into rooms that have already been revealed. Now if I come back over here onto my GM screen and click on my vision blocking tool, you'll see I have a door here and a door down here. When those doors are there, I have the vision blocking there so it didn't reveal. If I'm ready and they say, I would like to go check on that door, I come up here with my vision blocking tool on and I just use this draw rectangular vision blocking. And if we remember back, shift causes your cursor to do the opposite of what it was meant to do. So without shift, I could just draw another line. With shift though, I'm going to erase this vision blocking on this door. So now, when this player, this hero, comes over here to this door and says, I open the door and I throw the door open. All right, now they can push Control-I and they can see into the next room. I want to show you one more aspect of vision blocking. As you can see, vision blocking really limits the player's vision to a cone. So even though we've revealed room number six, the player cannot see all the way until they come in. So this can be used to some cool effects, still can't see it all, has to come all the way in the room to reveal it. Now you can do some things with this. Let's go over here to my GM screen where I have room number two and there's all of these pillars in here. So if I have my PC token and they come down here and they reveal that room and they walk in, they see everything. They see all the pillars, all the locations, everything like that. If you want to mess with them and make it more maze-like, you can actually come up here to your vision blocking and everywhere where there's a pillar, you can place some vision blocking. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll show you what that looks like with the Fog of War reset. All right, I've got all my vision blocking turned put in. I'm going to click on my Fog of War tool, and I'm going to shift, click, and drag over to hide that all again. And then you can use the Control-I option on PC tokens, whether you're on the GM screen or the player screen. So if you accidentally hide a player, just click on them, Control-I. Now we have all these pillars there. Now it's up to you. If you really want to go through and have the players reveal one hallway at a time, all right, and keep going, and click Control-I. Oh, and now they see that. That's fine. I've tried that before. I did not enjoy it. I, my players didn't like it. So I tend to just have a room completely revealed in one go so that the players see everything when they walk in. So that does it for right now for Fog of War. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, and have a great day.